Hey guys, like Charlie Weird here, your leading expert in natural pain management and other chronic diseases. Here to discuss zinc and its importance in preventing chest crisis. Let's define a chest crisis. A chest crisis is when a patient with sickle cell disease actually have a crisis or pain in the chest, but it is due to an infection that is actually in the chest or in the chest material as well, either in intercostal and in lungs itself as well. Why is that so important? Because of the fact that we found that usually in about 67% of the cases, a chest crisis happens after an individual has already been admitted to the hospital and it's a secondary diagnosis. The original diagnosis uses the chest, uh, the actual pain crisis itself and the chest crisis actually happens afterwards. And that's due to the lower immunity of the individual. We found that in different studies, individuals with sickle cell disease naturally excrete out a lot of zinc in their natural urination on a daily basis. The cause for that is kind of um, unknown, but part of it is due to the fact that we see that when the cell, the sickle cell breaks itself, it releases a lot of the good um, antioxidants, including vitamin C, zinc, and all these other things as well. We also found inside of other studies that one was done in 2005 that they did a three-year study with adding zinc to someone's diet. We found that by adding zinc to a sickle cell person's diet, um, it, it actually improved the person's health and also reduced the chest crisis risk by 96%. So the individuals who are taking just a small amount of zinc on a daily basis had an increased immunity and also decreased risk of actually having a chest crisis. Individuals in that same study who did not have uh, any zinc inside their diet actually kept having the same amount of chest crisis, which is usually three or four a year. The individuals who did, didn't have one chest crisis in three years. That's kind of phenomenal. So that's why it's so important. Now, why is zinc itself so active? It actually is a trace mineral inside of the actual thymus itself. The thymus is actually located behind the sternum. It's actually where all of our killer T cells are. A killer T cell is what actually kills a virus or a bacteria. So if you don't have enough zinc in your system, it's not going to activate that thymus to sort of tell the body to kill these viruses off. So traditionally, that's why most sickle cell patients have low immunity because they excrete out a lot of their um, zinc and the zinc is actually important for what? Making sure the thymus where all the kill T and immunity um, is located is going to be able to be healthy and happy. I always tell patients as an infant or a baby up to about three to five years old, 15 to 25 uh, milligrams of zinc a day is really efficient. And then anyone older than that, I say anywhere from 50 to 75 milligrams of zinc a day is going to be phenomenal for them and actually help to prevent these chest crises. Like I said, just from the studies alone that, that's been done over the last 50 to 60 years, zinc is a a very, very important trace element for sickle cell patients to increase immunity and also decrease the, the risk of a chest crisis. This is Dr. Charlie Ware, your leading expert in natural pain management and other chronic diseases. Take care.